Hi guys, this is Gospel EXE back with another episode of Torchlight. Now there are a few things I want to go over. First, I got rid of the excess equipment and sold them off in town, and we also got a jewel or socket ball from Kidrick, and it's pretty okay for the attack speed. Another thing I found was this piece of shoulder over here, which has yet some more mana regen, so that's pretty nice, and that's pretty much it for the equipment for the most part, and I didn't really buy any more potions or anything, I think we should be fine over here. Second thing I want to go over is the skills, um, I was looking over, and I figured Chaos Burst really isn't the way to go, instead I looked at Curse of Daggers, and that seems to be a lot better actually. Um, first off, for every, you know, just looking at the tier bonuses alone, not, um, not only do the number of daggers increase, but you also gain some really nice um, short bursts of buffs and everything, so... And not to mention the poison damage, so... Uh, speaking of poison damage, I want to start pumping points into this, since I refunded my point from Chaos Burst, since I don't want to max it anymore. I want to start working on Masters of the Element, and that way I can still put my one... Uh, next point into Akimbo, so that way we can get a slight boost in Curse of Daggers when that comes. Not to mention what's nice about Curse of Daggers is that, well, it levels with your player along with the skills, so now what I'm going to do is go into the temple here. We might die sometimes, I'm not sure, because I'm severely underleveled at this point. So uh, first I want to get rid of the talkies and readjust them. Okay, so let's give this a shot. Okay, so, whoops, already got a bomb on us. That's nice. Yeah, just pick up whatever potions you can, you never know. And, like I said in the last episode, Rapid Fire seems to be doing the job just fine as it is. I mean, there's really no need to have a secondary skill just yet. But, I mean, I, I can imagine Curse of the Daggers will be amazing once I get it, even at level 1. Yeah, see right there? Oh, okay. You have yeah, we were just about to level up too, and I'm surprised I didn't even level up that, uh, the last episode. So go with our usual build, just stay, stay consistent, that's why I like to have consistency. And so far for being completely under leveled or, well, right now since we leveled up once, it makes quite a bit of a difference. I mean, we don't seem to be doing that bad, so these guys aren't terrible. Alright, and... Look. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And get nice loot. Loot. Okay, just all on range attack. Nothing to really worry about. Nothing too lethal. Oh. Blood monkey. The plague starts now. Fine. That's quite the plague. Oh, what the hell? Oh, okay, so yeah, Netherlands you don't want uh, touching it because it drains mana and it might put you on the bad end of the stick later on. No, oh, bombs everywhere, Jesus. Okay, I want to try to, again, get used to the kiting ability, or not ability, but, um, well, Whatever you want to call it. Technique, I, I guess that would be the more appropriate term. Not so much, we seem to be getting a lot of experience too, so that pays off. Oh, Mysterious Pole Arm, a unique. We'll take a look at that pretty soon. I mean, I don't really carry that many I, um, identify scrolls on me. I mean, if I find some, sure, I'll use them. Otherwise, I'll just win town and um, just go from there. Or I just usually wait until I level up to that appropriate. Oh, well, there you go. Speaking of which, identify scroll. Okay, I don't want to get too reckless here, because remember what happened in the dynamite cave there. Because things kept blowing up, and I died. Easily. Okay. 
And the Hulk is back. Well, not for long. I mean, it's a good thing that big health potions really aren't that much of a concern because they're so they seem to be dropping left and right, which is very nice. I mean, take what you can get, get whatever's free. And I should also mention, um, uh, what was I gonna say? Regarding the potions, there doesn't seem to be a level restriction on when you can use them either. So you can use like really high level potions if you really want to. I mean, it's not advised. It's one, they're expensive. And two, um, well, I mean, you just don't need that much regeneration unless you're really getting killed. And in that case, you just need to level up some more. Dude, these are, yeah, those are big man potions. Okay. It's like, am I, you, oh, I see it. For these potions, I don't even have the, these ones set up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you might as well, well, we'll save those potions for later. You'll see what I'm going to do with them. Hopefully, in the next few episodes. These guys really don't seem to be much of a problem. I mean, they give so much experience that we're level up so fast anyway. Okay, and we could probably put another point to a Kimbo, which is very nice. Um, go with our consistent build. Okay, great. So, what's our next point to Kimbo? Level 18? Okay. And we seem to be doing rather well on time, too, so. That's always a nice fact, right? It's like I'm sort of speeding through the, the area while. Also trying to explore everything. Well, that's because we're demolishing everything so quickly. Rapid fire is so OP. Well, not really. I mean, they're probably better skills to get. Which I'm pretty sure they are. But, I mean, it's a good, more or less, bread and butter. Because, I mean, it not only can attack mobs, but, I mean, you can demolish, especially single. Uh, targets. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, get out of there. And yeah, we still want to go for the loot, so that's right. I guess I'm poisoned? Yeah. Oh, well, poison doesn't actually poison you, it just gives you less armor. So it's not health drain or anything like that. I mean, there might be something like that in this game. Which I'm pretty sure there is. I think I came across it a few times. But then again, what do I know about Torchlight? I guess I could have just spammed rapid fire there, but that would be fun. Actually, yeah, it would. What am I talking about? Okay, I probably want to get out of there because I don't like those things spawning or whatever. There we go. I mean, it's like freaking Zerg hatchery eggs. Oh, we're out of inventory already. Just get rid of you. Take a look at this real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and I have two sp two pieces of equipment I wanna. Oh well, I already equipped it, but um, it's pretty much this piece of armor here gives six strength, so I want to equip that. And I also these ones are also equipped the two sockets at three strength, and I also want to use my ten price scroll or something, but. Let's see. You know what? We could maybe go for the chest armor. We could maybe. Eh, nothing too good. So, never mind. So, I'll just send that off and send these two off. And send my pet. And keep moving on. That's all there is to it. Oops, there we go. Come on. There we go. See, I knew you could do it. Oh, now the blood monkey. Uh, not enough, or no match for me. Oh man, okay, I thought something was gonna spawn like last time. But I guess that was just part of the dungeon itself. Oh, okay, so I, so those are disease nodes, so. I see. Which I guess just explode, they don't poison you or anything. Which is always a bonus, I mean, if it's just damage, no big deal. Oh jeez, you got demolished. My crit rate is really going up. See, 23% is... I mean... That's just something you don't want, really want to miss out on. I mean, 23 on any game is... Just pretty decent enough. 
the more the better. And what I like about the the Berserker is that once you fill the charge gauge up, then it all the attacks for a few seconds is always critical. It's 100% crit rate, and you can just watch them just trash everything. Like especially if you use Eviscerate, and you just pretty much cleave the enemies, and they go flying. Don't even know what hit him. And I'm pretty sure we can get our uh, another level before the end here. Yeah, so I guess we weren't terribly under level. I mean, we seem to be doing fine here. And it's not exactly like a tanky class either. Although, I'm not sure if there really is a tanky class. Your oh, excellent. Returns. I guess this can somewhat be considered tanky because of the defensive skill at level 28, 28 I think it is, uh, yeah, stone packed, which, uh, well I hope it is useful, I mean, I've looked at some builds online and people seem to recommend it, so, I'll just go with it, if I like it, then I'll keep it, like with Chaos Burst, I mean, I didn't really like it, it just doesn't seem like a good skill to me. Oh jeez, I ran right into that, so I somehow I didn't see that. So I'm sorry. Okay, let's just resurrect at the entrance. We're not too far. No, I'm actually just gonna meet you over there. All right, let's try this again. Damn it, I was hoping this episode would be no death. Run, but, well, then again, I said that for this whole playthrough itself. Of course, that failed a few episodes ago. I just, yeah, there we go. Just, again, grab retire. It seems to be the way to go. If you have the mana for it, then, oh, there we go. That's quite explosive. I, want, I don't want to take any chances here. Alright, there we go. And, boom. Oh, we got two bosses here. Alright, nice. Let's take a look. Um, oh. Alright, fine, I'll take care of you first. Yeah, so nothing we really want need to put points into, so might as well keep pumping up masters. And dun, dun, dun. Oh, there we go. It's like, come on, can you click? Okay, let's go down here. Yeah, we're just about the end too, so it makes pretty good timing. Oh, we got a secret room too. Hey, why not? Let's check it out. And one well, more blood monkey. Of course, you can't go without the blood monkeys. We seem to be pretty quite a lot too, so easy. I mean, I'm, yes, like C three hundred, which is. Well, I mean, I'm not sure how exact the damage calculate, but I mean, it's based off of. What is it, 35% what? weapon DPS? Not bad. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean, like, if I attack with my normal shot, then I'll be critting for, like, 600 or whatever. Uh, Alright, well, it doesn't, doesn't seem to be much over here. But free loot is free loot. And there were some shiny chests I want to get right here. I can't. I think I'm gonna take care of this inventory and I'll be back in the next episode to finish this area off and see what awaits us.